Time to milk this for all I can. Music producers, you know that my computer took a bit of a dump. Well, not the computer itself. Windows had an update that caused complete chaos, utter chaos chaos. Lost a lot of my files, but this could have been avoided with a really easy solution, a very inexpensive solution called Backblaze. Stop laughing at the name. This particular cloud service, I had a few of the homies let me know about it. Shout out to Oh Gosh Leotis and the homie Decap, but it's a really inexpensive service that works in the background as you're working on new music. Let's talk about it. See you in a sec. Okay, music producers, you know, if you've already gone through some sort of crash, it's probably a little bit too late and I cannot save the files that are already gone. But in hopes of saving future files, I want to introduce something to you in case you haven't heard it. Now, this by no means am I saying is the best, but it is a solution that can get you started underway. I'm sure if you look at the comments, they'll have many different solutions for you for those who partake in that. Backblaze is a cloud service that costs you as little as $6 a month, $60 a year. Now, you know what I'm saying? I had to ball out and get my $60 a year, but I got that because it is well worth it, especially in the event that I don't know, a candle burns down this entire studio because it's very possible produces we in the sense and stuff. But that being said, if you could easily avoid this with a program that doesn't take up any kind of CPU in the background, like you can look right now, it's actually backing up as I'm shooting this video. Yeah, 0.1% of the CPU, so we're good. The craziest thing about Backblaze though, it's completely unlimited in terms of the amount of space that it will back up. Once you go ahead, purchase it, install it, put it on your desktop, I'm running a PC, this is what you get. Don't look too crazy when you first see it, but you got a pause backup button or a start backup button that occurs when you first open it up. Actually, you can see right here that I'm backing up all these megabytes and what's scheduled for backing up. It's a continuous scheduled backup. And then you have a restore option. This is the thing that's, that was a no brainer. This made it like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with y'all. If I was a free agent, I'm signed by Backblaze. They give you ways to get your information back beyond just the internet. So you can do a web download of all of the files that backed up, everything on your computer, right? If you got multiple terabytes, gigabytes, all that, you can get that. But they will also provide you a USB flash drive up to 265 gigabytes of your files sent to you via FedEx. Obviously there's some charges that apply or they'll even give you a USB drive that gets you all of your files sent to you via FedEx. Like it's almost like having your studio burned down and your homies like, don't even trip. I have everything that you did over the last 10 years <laughs> in one drive. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does right here on the dashboard. When you go here into the settings though, here's where it starts to get a little fancier. You can establish an online name for your computer. I just called mine Curtis King CLX. There's a temporary data drive that you can set. It can actually warn you when you haven't backed up your computer. Get your life together. You could have it warn you every seven days, one day or never. I don't know why you would do that, but there it is. You can also tell it what drives to back up. You got to be careful because if you have like an external that is already in there and you don't want to have that backed up, it will attach itself to that when you first start your backup. Here you have some performance options. You have a schedule that you can set. So if you wanted to continuously back up, like I said, it doesn't take up a lot of CPU. You can have it do that right here. I have mine's on continuously. You can even exclude certain types of files. Maybe there's certain types of files that you really don't care about saving. I mean, I suggest having it all, but maybe you have some specifics that are really temporary or maybe they're being backed up by another service. Maybe it's photos or whatnot. You can enter your own private encryption key so that you are the only one that can actually retrieve these files in the event your computer get stolen. And then from here, you're going to see some other tabs that report any issues or anything that's going on, an overview of what it's already doing. It's pretty straightforward. At this point, there's no excuse not to back your files up. You just being the jerk at this point. Go ahead and look into this. If this is something that's within your budget, which I think it's in a lot of people's budget. Think about this. Six dollars a month? Back up everything? There's even a free 30 day freaking trial. As sure as this wave cap is cutting the circulation off to my brain, start to back up your files. This is an easy way to do it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or hit that description and go sign up using my affiliate code, affiliate link. Enjoy backing up your computer. Ain't no reason to lose everything. 
sometimes these things happen. They don't have to happen. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Once again, it's Curtis King of CurtisKingTV.com. Have a good one. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. Hmm.